Okay, let's say you want to create an ambient track or you want to create some pet sounds, you want to create drone sounds and you're kind of bored of all your presets you already used on Omnisphere or whatever set you use. So an always interesting way of doing pet sounds in Bitwig is to use the sampler. And to create some sample material, I use sometimes um, old synthesizers. Let's say here the M1. Cork M1 still in demo mode. So I start here the demo. But all we need is basically here the browser and some presets. And we record this into Rewind. And I'm pressing here basically just a note of C4 and skip through the presets here. You can do as many as you want. Something like this. And then you take the sample and put it into the sampler, of course. Uh, let's create a new sampler here. We can delete the first M1. We limit here the range of that file. We right click and use the text root key. It's C3. Probably use C4 here, so it's pitched down a bit. Then I switch this here to Cycles mode. In Cycles mode, it works more like a, a wavetable synthesizer. Put Freeze on here. We can scan through the wavetable, kind of. Yeah, there are some gaps between that. But it's not important because we use now here a voice stacking. 16 voices. Stack spread and use minus one to plus one, so bipolar. And then we spread out here with the position. Just a bit like this. With a 50%. Use a random modulator here. Smoothing all the way up. Make it pretty slow, use bipolar, polyphonic, that's cool. Then we just modulate this here by a bit. You can see the modulator doesn't work when, when we pull this down for some reason. I think that's a bug. So we need to update here this. So now it works. Okay, so now that it moves here across the spectrum a bit differently on each voice stack, we can also use a bit of release here, a bit of attack, and we can use a band pass, actually, use the center frequency of C3 here, resonance a bit up, and then heat tracking 100%. And with the band pass, we basically cut some low frequencies out and some higher harmonics out, and we Put the focus or the accentuation basically on the fundamental frequency here with the uh, bandpass filter. So this already gives you a nice pet sound. And on every position you get a kind of random tonality or overtones. So you can use here another random mod. Bipolar monophonic this time, smoothing all the way up, also slow. Go back to 50% and then use basically this random modulator to scan through the wavetable here automatically. And then all you need to do is basically put a reverb on that. 
convolution here. I use a supermassive preset. I sampled these here myself. Vlay plus, just an algorithmic reverb at the end. Space, bit of feedback. And you can create pet sounds with this pretty easily. Um, so you don't need to use the M1, Quark M1 synthesizer. You can also use uh, the radio VST I showed you in some of my videos, or your Eurorack system if you have one, or maybe something like something like Diva or piano sounds, piano samples, or you sing something yourself. So some vocals, random vocals with some different overtones. Um, the important part is basically that you stay on just one pitch, maybe C4, C3, something like this. You also can try out something like fifths, um, maybe that sounds good, or maybe even some chord progressions if you want to stay uh, in a scale or something like this. Um, so yeah, this is basically the easiest way of creating pet sounds with a sampler. I really like to do this just to sample random sources and then use the cycles mode or even the textures mode here uh, to create nice little drones. So instead of M1, I sometimes use even something like a synth plant. I actually do a lot of stuff with synth plant lately. To so put the rewind after that, you maybe use something like pitch map. Let's just use one note here. Randomize this here. And you see three. It's maybe not the perfect sound, but this one, yeah, the first one is kind of cool. And because of the pitch map, we stay basically in the pitch here. Let's see how this sounds. You can see sometimes here the sample is a bit quieter and sometimes a bit louder. You get basically for free some volume modulations um, with that. So you don't need to modulate the volume to get, you know, some kind of nice movements in there. It's basically just baked in already because some of the presets are changing volume, have different volumes or have different envelopes and so on. So in my opinion, the sampler is still the best way of creating pet sounds out of thin air um, without you know tweaking forever on some kind of synthesizers just use the sample or sample some random sources uh, use textures mode and cycles mode here uh, with voice stacking then use nice reverbs at the end and then you have basically a nice pet sound drone sound at the end just in no time Okay, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye.